hello everyone welcome back to my channel welcome to another wonderful video sorry i'm looking a bit i'm in a rush i'm in a rush my hair's wet it is horrible outside it's cold it's gray it's miserable and it is raining let, let me show you look at that it doesn't actually look that bad it doesn't even look like it's raining but um definitely is also don't mind my grass there but look there's no scaffolding look at that grass there's like bit there bit around the corner bit here anyway um back to the actual video so today's video i'm going to be only eating tinned food now there are some tinned food that i already eat anyway i eat like meatballs macaroni cheese beans things like that so but i've tried to pick out things that i haven't tried before uh and i'm really not looking forward to breakfast I'm a bit scared, so let's get straight into it. I'm hungry, but I'm also a bit nervous because I really don't want to try this, but yeah, let's get straight into it. Before we do, you all know what I'm going to say. Please smash the big thumbs up and subscribe if you are new here, but let's go for some brekkie. Now, I'm a bit annoyed with breakfast because I did see online there's a, um, a tin of full English, but I couldn't find it anywhere last night. So we have got bacon grill honestly makes me feel a bit sick bacon bit grill bacon roll cured chopped pork with smoked flavor oh man how do you heat this i don't know how they can call it bacon because it's definitely not bacon how do i even open this I'm using a knife to get this off so i can actually open it oh i think i've got it right let's do i just oh oh it like released I don't know if I can eat that. Oh my God, guys, look. How can they call that bacon? That looks like spam. I'm gonna try it. I am gonna try it. I was, there was, it's annoying actually, because there was this and there was like spam and that sort of stuff. Because this was called bacon, I just thought it was gonna be like something different, you know? Oh, mate, it's, Stinks. <laughs> it won't fully come off. But oh mate. Nah. Sorry if you guys eat this, but it looks disgusting. And it smells like cat food. I'm not I was gonna make it into a bacon sandwich, but I can't do that. Genuinely. Do any of you eat this? Oh, there's like jelly on it. Yeah, I was gonna make it into a bacon sandwich, but no. What I'm gonna do is cut some off. I was gonna show you, but actually that'll go everywhere. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna be brave and try it. I wish I went for like corned beef instead because corned beef is much nicer. I like corned beef, but I thought, no, you've got to try it. I'm not gonna try it cold because that actually makes me feel ill. So let's pop it in the microwave. How can they call that bacon? Ooh, that smell really reminds me of something. I just can't think of what it is. I say that, oh, it's really hot. I say this every time, don't I? I'm always like, ugh, it's disgusting. I try it, I'm like, well, it's actually not even that bad. Sorry, I'm, I keep playing with my hair. I know some of you get annoyed with it when I play with my hair, but it hasn't fully dried and I'm doing this in between meetings at work, so bear with um that bit had a bit of the jelly stuff on it and it was like sticky sorry for spitting that out um i probably cut that out i will cut that out the flavor isn't too bad that's got a bit of jelly on it too oh me yeah the flavor isn't actually as bad as i thought but i wouldn't say that's bacon i wouldn't have that with my fry up i wouldn't have it in a sandwich i wouldn't wrap that around chicken probably won't be having any more apologies if that insult shouldn't you like this so i'll be seeing you soon than i thought for some lunch i know i'm gonna like the lunch wow i hope i am i haven't tried it before good afternoon so it's time for some lunch uh it's a few hours later and i'm quite hungry because obviously i only had like a slice of bacon 
I've just been out to walk the dog whilst um whilst it's not raining but it's kind of drizzling it was absolutely I was in a meeting earlier and I had the a small window open like the top window and it was hammering down so I took my chance and it started drizzling whilst I was out but yesterday I had to go out because I've been busy in the evenings yesterday I had to go out in the evening in the dark I didn't like it so let me pop you down and we make some I'll show you what I'm gonna have for some lunch so where is it oh is that I thought someone had nicked my lunch right for lunch I've picked up some beans I'm gonna have beans on toast I know bread isn't in a tin but you know what was that? That's look, I got like this. Before I frown, I get a line there. Um, I have some beans. These are barbecue flavour. Now, I think this is one that I'm not sure about still. I've seen them come out, they've been out for a little while. There's, there was bar uh, barbecue flavour and curry flavour. So I went for this one. I don't know, I'm feeling a bit weird. I've been feeling a bit strange the last couple of days. Um, like sick but not sick, like tummy ache. I don't know what it is so obviously when it comes to weird food I'm like oh I don't know if I want it but uh we'll give it a go so there was quite a few different tinned meals uh but I don't want them because I'm trying to get my words out do you ever get when you know what you want to say but literally like nothing comes out your mouth that's what I'm like at the moment I'm like uh hmm uh so sorry about that. I'll probably, when I'm editing, I'll probably have cut out like all the long pauses, but you know. Yeah, there were meals. I did want one, it was a chili con carne, but the chili con carne, I like chili con carne with rice and it doesn't come, it's not like a ready meal type thing. It's literally just a tin of chili con carne. So I didn't get that because rice is in a packet, although I have got a packet something later. Anyway, I make the rules, it's my challenge. So I'm gonna pop these in the microwave, heat them up. Barbecue beans. Should have a little. Should have a little sniff. Probably shouldn't because it's probably going to smell disgusting whilst they're cold. They don't smell too barbecuey, to be honest. I don't know. Let's heat them up. I was going to try it cold because I do like cold beans, but I don't really. How I'm feeling at the moment, I don't know if I want them. So let's pop them. Let, let me just pop them in. I can't go out. I'll see you in a sec when we're ready to eat. Here we go. I don't really know I'm showing you beans on toast, but there we go. I just did. Uh, the smell. I'm not really, I don't know if I'm getting barbecue or not. Not proper barbecue. I feel like it smells like sausages. <laughs> like that bloody bacon thing that I ate earlier, but let's give them, let's give them a go. I'm actually nervous. They don't taste like barbecue. I don't think they taste like barbecue. They taste like, they don't taste like beans, but I'm not getting a barbecue flavor. I'm trying to think of like barbecue sauce. There might be a slight hint, but I really do not think that resembles barbecue in one bit. Not at all. This is a bit of a disappointment to be honest with you. Not horrible, but doesn't taste like barbecue sauce. So if you haven't tried it and you're wondering, don't bother. Later on, I'm going to pick up a new TV unit. It was free on Facebook Marketplace. I'll show you it when it comes, but it's a pine one. There's nothing wrong with our one at the moment, apart from it's just too low down, because basically where it used to be, the room it used to be in, the ceilings were like the slanted ones, like almost like an attic room. So we have to get everything like quite low down because of the wall, the ceiling. So that's what we've got there. And I just feel like it's, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just too low. So I saw this one here, which is good. And the only thing is I'm going to paint it. It's what is, um, what colour is it? Pine. And I want it white. So I'm going to see if I can get chalk paint, some sort of furniture paint. But I'll show you it later. Mm. Will I? Later on, it's going to be in the car. I'm not going to be able to get it in myself and Josh won't be home from work. So let me just show you a photo. So that is going to focus. And I'm just going to paint it white with furniture paint. But I'm going to need your help. 
I'll speak to you later, but I'm not sure what type of furniture paint I need. And I'm filming this the day before it goes live, so I wouldn't have sorted it. So if any of you guys are, they're called upcyclers, then let me know what I need to do. I don't have any snacks because I don't know what snacks you can get that's in a tin that doesn't make me want to be sick. Let me know if there is any. But I couldn't see anyone else in the shop yesterday. It was it's more meals, isn't it? So um next time I'm gonna see you is for dinner, and I am excited about that one. There's no scaredness for that at all. Oh my gosh. It is so cold. Why is that picture wonky? Does that annoy you? How does that go wonky when it's not near anyone that touches it? Anyway, it's time for some dinner. I've just got in, I've just picked up the TV unit. I'm not gonna show you because like I say, it's in the car boot. So what's the point in showing you when all you're gonna see is one part of it? But I will show you, I might vlog. Sorry, Sid just like ran off as if he's going to play with something. There's nothing there. Uh, I might vlog this weekend. So I might show you what I'm doing with that, but if you guys could let me know what I need to use, because basically I went to B&M because I was going to get bits and there was two types of things. There was one paint and it was like kitchen, kitchen unit paint, as in these, kitchen cupboard, that's what the word, not unit. Um, and that, I don't know if that was a chalk paint or if it would come out like this sort of finish. And then the other one was furniture chalk paint. Uh, and you had to get two of them. You had to get the first step one and step two. Now, I'm not doing it because I want to be cheap, but I just don't know. Do I need to get two or do I? will the kitchen one be all right? It says on there, like it works on MDF and something else. Obviously that's pine. I don't know. Like you can tell I've been out in the rain. My hair's gone, done that funny thing. Anyway, if you guys could let me know, if any of you upcyclers out there, please let me know. I don't really know what I'm doing. Right, dinner. That's where I do know what I'm doing and I am excited. I'm not even that hungry. I would eat, obviously, but you know when you're like starving, but you will eat what you get. Anyway, I just I'm eating because I'm so excited. So the tin we have is a Frey Bentos meaty pud. Sorry, Sid's just having his food as well. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this. It is a tin as well, just so you just so you know, I'm so excited for this. Like I think I've said to you before that I love like soggy pastry and this is just full of soggy pastry. So this is a steak and kidney one. With that, I am having, now this isn't in a tin, but the stuff that I could get in with a tin, I didn't want. So this is mash, perfect mash in a sachet. And listen, it's like, what is it? So basically, Add boiling water to a bowl, stir in a packet, stir in the packet using a fork to evenly wet all potatoes. Let the potatoes sit for one minute and fluff up with a fork. This is perfectly ma perfect mashed cheddar cheese flavour. I saw it and I was like, oh my God, 100% yes. And how good does this sound with the weather right now? A pie and some mash. Now, like I say, I know it's not in a tin but the food sorry is my hand shaking i'm resting on something and i just looked and i was like Whoa. um the like vegetables that are in a not vegetables the uh, potatoes that are in a tin are like new potatoes and i'm not really that keen on new potatoes so why not why have something that i'm not going to enjoy you know so we've got this this is like i said before did i say it earlier I'm not sure this is my challenge so don't shoot me also i've got some I think this is vegetables. Now I could have gone for normal peas. I could have gone for normal peas, but I didn't. And I'm guessing this is peas. Peas pudding. Now look at the photo. Like, do you know what that's gonna be? I don't think it's peas. And it's not spout peas, is it? It's got an E on, they've put an E on the end. So that I'm a little bit nervous for, but the rest, and it's gonna be ready. That's in the microwave for three minutes. That perfect in one minute. What about this? How do I cook this? Microwave and full power for three minutes. 
Jeez. Right, I'll do this first and we'll see. Should I put you down so we can see what it's like together? You can see my actual reaction. For someone who loves food, I get nervous. Oh God, what is that? What is that? It smells like peas. <laughs> Let me put it in the container. Oh, that actually looks disgusting. Why do they make stuff look like that? Let's put it in a bowl. I don't even know what to say. It smells like peas. So what is... Right, I'm going to give it a go because... I'm a brave person, but let me let me cook with this up and I'll be with you in about 10 minutes, all right? Okay, so this meal has probably got potential to be one of the ugliest you've seen. You can't even see it because I've just spent a minute and a half trying to put you where you can actually see both me and the meal. But anyway, here's my dinner. How ugly is this? But I'm really looking forward to it. We've got my pie, soggy meat, mash which i'm amazed at and then this pea thing i'm amazed at this mash because it comes i put it over there it's in that packet it's a powder i haven't used it all because that says it serves three um it comes in a powder form and you literally put boiling hot water in with it and as you're stirring it it's turning into mash as you're stirring it i don't get it you probably all of you have probably had it or you're probably like are you for real like i heard a smash like or in like microwave mash but i've never i don't know you learn something every day, don't you? So let's try that cheddar mashed potato first. That is real nice. Mm -hmm. Obviously much lighter than normal potato. Feels like there's nothing in your mouth. Like, I don't know how to describe it, but it's not got the heaviness of if you just made mashed potato, but the cheesy cheddar cheese in it, that's good. It just smells just like peas, I don't understand. <laughs> Why is it that colour if it's a pea? It's like mashed, mushy peas. It's like mushy peas. I was gonna say, it's like mashed up peas. And that's how um, mash should be. This is much heavier. Literally tastes like orange mushy peas. Not orange flavor, but orange in color, mushy peas. So far so good, I would get both of them again. Let's go in with a pie. It looks really ugly. Mm. Soggy pastry. I love you. There's a good amount of filling in there as well. Can you guys kind of see that? There's loads of meat in there because usually you get some pies, like just normal pies, like a pucker pie, there's not much meat in it. That's a good amount of meat. I really don't know what else to say. But that's good. Tomorrow, I'm going to film another video, ready for Sunday, and it's going to be another Christmassy one. So I'll let you have a get, little guess about where you think it's going to be. I won't obviously tell you if you're right, so you're just going to have to keep thinking until Sunday. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. Anyway, I'm gonna sit and finish this. Unfortunately, I don't have any pudding. I couldn't really think of a pudding in a tin. You probably were all looking at the screen thinking, like telling me, like, are you for real? But the only thing I could think of was of those ones that are like the Capri's, like little, I can't think what they're called, but they're like cakes, like a sticky toffee pudding or a whatever, and you put it in the microwave. But I don't really class that as a tin. And the only one I saw actually was custard, and I don't really, I'm not a lover of custard, I don't hate it, but I don't really want a whole bowl of custard, you know? So, if there's any ideas, let me know, but obviously I'm not going to eat them now anyway. Anyway, on that note, I'm going to end this video here, because like I say, no more pudding, so no more to film. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. If you have, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you are new here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.